It's not official yet, but a week after Democrats initially declared victory, they now appear to have the votes they need to take control of the Pennsylvania House. So what does it mean for all of us? Here's KDK Harrisburg Bureau Chief Seth Kaplan. Today we are at 102 seats. Not one seat to spare. Democrats have reached the threshold for a majority of the 203 seat House. What's the impact of the pousing of the House gavel from Republicans to Democrats? There are things we know will happen and items Democrats are vying for. You won't be able to vote next year on a package of GOP backed constitutional amendments. The Democratic characterization of what the amendments could have done set us up to ban abortion in Pennsylvania, um, discriminate against voting rights, and actually raise the voting age from 18 to 21, prevent any future governor from enacting climate change regulations. The House and Senate both needed to vote one more time to put the amendments on the ballot. The governor cannot veto constitutional amendments. So when we flipped the House, we have stopped those constitutional amendments in their tracks. While Republicans will get less of what they want, that doesn't mean Democrats will get everything they want. Republicans still have a majority in the state Senate. Meanwhile, House Republicans haven't conceded defeat. So for now, a spokeswoman for incoming Senate pro tem, Kim Ward said she's not yet ready to comment, but incoming governor Josh Shapiro said he is ready to work with Ward. I'm confident I can work with uh, President Pro Tem Ward and the other leaders in the Senate as well as in the House uh, to get meaningful things done. I am hopeful that the House and Senate will be able to find co common ground with Governor Josh Shapiro to get some really good things done over the next two years. Among things Democrats would like to get done, allow counties to start processing mail-in ballots sooner and change a school funding formula so that more money goes to urban schools. In Harrisburg, Seth Kaplan, KDKA News.